I don't know that I'm exemplary on the way that I keep my files, but um, keeping backups is obviously always pretty important. And in my early days, I had a pretty bad disaster with, well, it was when you still kept things on floppy disks. And although I had two copies, I kept them in the same room. And one day a cleaner came in and there was a water heater in this room and they left it on and the thermostat wasn't working and the whole room got filled with intense steam and all the discs kind of turned to sog because they've got cardboard in the middle and uh, that was quite a lot of months of data just went in one go. So um, it's not... I mean, you could have the equivalent, obviously, if you've got it all in the one computer and you for have some sort of cataclysmic thing. So keeping stuff in different places. I mean, that's less of an issue now that you've got the web and, the you know, people keep, um, you know, so if you keep stuff in a cloud or whatever. <laughs> but um, it's still worth thinking about. It's amazing how, I mean, I only back up my stuff once a week. Um, because I personally don't use a managed desktop, so it's not backed up every day. And then there might be the odd week when I don't do it. So, you know, that's bad practice. Actually, as well, I'm not careful about checking backups. I think you can't always assume that these backup softwares work. And I have heard horror stories sometimes about people believing their stuff was backed up. And then when they really needed it they, found it, they found that actually not everything they thought was backed up was backed up. So I think it is very important to really understand your software. And I'm not always as good as I should be on that because it's kind of on my conscience, this issue at the moment, because I'm using a backup program that is relatively new because I've got one of those new external drives. So yes, lots to think about there, I think.